All right, Christian, it is going to be another lovely day on tap as we will see plenty of sunshine out there. But before that happens, we have to get rid of some of this fog. And yes, we do have reduced visibility out there because of that fog. Not looking good around Chestertown. Look at that. About zero right now around there in Bel Air. We're seeing that at Columbia as well. We have one mile reduced visibility in Easton. Not dealing with any dense fog advisories. Nothing has popped up quite yet. I think that we will be on the safer side of that. Uh, but I'm going to continue to monitor that as we go through the rest of the morning. And then we'll start to see some changes, meaning we will get plenty of sunshine out there. We'll mix with a few high clouds as we go more towards the afternoon. But again, it is going to be another dry day with plenty of sunshine on tap for us. As we widen out the view, we can see what's happening across the mid-Atlantic. Yeah, we are nice and dry. High pressure will continue to build in, even back across the Ohio Valley on the drier side this morning as well and through the rest of today. Temperatures this morning have been above average. We have 50 degrees right now in Stevensville, upper 40s around Easton and even around Manchester. Chesapeake Beach is at 51 degrees and even the mountains in the 40s this morning instead of the 30s. So these temperatures really are near normal. We have numbers that are above average and we will continue uh, with numbers above average. Even as we go into the afternoon, I think that we will go above average again. Yesterday we made it up to 70 degrees and we have a southerly flow out there. We still have that southerly flow out there and temperatures are warmer this morning and with that we have the sunshine. So yeah, I do believe that we will see temperatures coming in right around 70 degrees for today. This is what it looks like now in the tropics. Still active. We have a tropical depression, Ada, instead of a hurricane or tropical storm right now with those winds sustained at about 30 miles an hour. The next place that Ada is going will be Cuba. That's what it looks like right now. And then after that, it could head towards the U.S. as it heads towards Florida, or it could make its way into the Gulf of Mexico headed to the Gulf Coast state. So again, still some uncertainty there, but we're going to continue to monitor that for you. Future cast not picking up on a whole lot for today. Again, the rain is going to stay away from us for the next several days. So it is going to be a great leaf blowing forecast over the next several days. And even past Saturday, look what happens as we go into Sunday, Monday, starting the week, still on the dry side. We're still looking at temperatures that are well above average. The next chance for rain really comes in on Veterans Day.